Researchers have discovered that the brains of astronauts change shape during space flight. The researchers conducted fMRI scans on astronauts who'd recently spent time on the International Space Station, finding that some regions of the brain showed decreases in gray matter, while others showed increases. The research could help in treating other conditions that affect the brain. For example, people on long-term bed rest who have hydrospolis fluid pressure in their brain. The researchers, based at the University of Michigan, analyzed the brains of astronauts using functional magnetic resonance imaging. They analyzed brain scans of 12 astronauts who spent two weeks in space as shuttle crew members and 14 who had spent six months on the International Space Station. All of them experienced increases and decreases in gray matter in different parts of the brain. But the changes were more significant the more time the astronauts spent in space. Professor Rachel Seidler, a University of Michigan professor of kinesiology and psychology who led the study, said, We found large regions of gray matter volume decreases which could be related to redistribution of cerebrospinal fluid in space. Gravity is not available to pull fluids down in the body, resulting in so-called puffy face in space. This may result in a shift of brain position or compression. But the researchers also found increases in gray matter in areas of the brain that control leg movement and process sensory information from the legs. This increase may reflect the brain learning how to adapt to moving in microgravity. These changes were more significant in astronauts who had spent time aboard the space station because their brains were learning how to adapt round the clock. It's interesting because even if you love something you won't practice more than an hour a day, Professor Sattler said. But the brain scans reveal that the astronauts' brains had changed in a way that was equivalent to someone practicing a skill constantly. Although the researchers have not determined the exact nature of the changes as yet, they say that the findings could help people with health conditions that cause similar problems, for example conditions that cause cerebrospinal fluid to accumulate in the brain. Professor Sattler said the brain changes could be new connections between neurons. The results of this study show strong similarity to another study by Professor Sattler where participants spent three months in a downward tilted position which case their brains to shift up. She's leading another study that will determine the effects of these changes on the cognition and physical movement. The study will also look at how long the brain changes last. For example, even after balance returns to normal when an astronaut returns to Earth from space, the brain might still have different neuron connections pathways to adapt to the brain changes caused by space flight. The behavior may return to normal, but the way the brain controls the behavior may change, said Professor Sattler.